This is Dan Riley for Sports Talk on Passionate World Internet Radio. According to news reports, FX is putting together a dramatic miniseries that's a retelling of the events involving Aaron Hernandez's rise and fall from NFL stardom. First off, let's get one thing straight. Aaron Hernandez was found guilty in court. Aaron Hernandez, frankly, was a terrible human being, unlike most guys who play in the NFL. That's what I want to make clear in this podcast. Most people who play violent sports are very, very tame off the field or boxing ring. That's why I want to cover our fascination with athletes who play violent sports and then wind up facing murder or manslaughter charges. Don't think that thought hasn't ever crossed your mind. We expect guys who play games like football, ice hockey, and boxing to consistently wind up in the newspaper with their face looking back at us. In a mugshot. Look, it isn't true that all football and hockey players are breaking the law away from the game. The reason most don't is that they're very, very aware of the image Athletes who play violent sports have. They can't afford to screw up like you and me. Too much is at stake. The truth of the matter is, it's a very simple truth, really. Most know they have a target on their back because of what they do for a living. As far for that matter, most can actually tell the difference between the game they play for a living and real life. Aaron Hernandez was an exception, and thank goodness for that. O.J. Simpson clearly wasn't an exception to the unfair stereotype. Neither was Ray Rice, for that matter. But the fact is, we expect guys who play in the NFL or National Hockey League to behave the same way off the field as they do on the field or ice. Guys who play... Football, ice hockey, or box know that people expect them to, say, hit their wife or abuse their kids. It's an ugly stereotype that's been around for decades, and the media doesn't help with the way they cover some stuff away from the game. Players know that you and I aren't particularly surprised when one of their own gets arrested for being in a bar fight or winds up in the county jail on a charge of murder. But guys who play sports behave themselves 
for very, very good reasons. Because playing hockey or football puts a huge target on your back as far as the local district attorney is concerned. If that doesn't get you to behave, I don't know what will. Most guys who play for the Dallas Cowboys or Detroit Red Wings understand stuff that something that Aaron Hernandez never could. The instinct you take off the pads, the time where it's acceptable to hit someone is over. And we should all be just ecstatic and very comforted to know most players understand there's a difference between football and ice hockey and real life. This is Dan Riley for Sports Talk. Thank you so much for tuning in and so long.